Tonight, a community united in grief. People gathered to remember a 17 year old girl who was killed. The vigil for Caitlin Hernandez was held at the drainage ditch where her body was found late Tuesday night. The San Antonio police say the Roosevelt High School senior was strangled and at last check, no arrests have been made. Garrett Berger there as people paid their final respects. This spot holds tremendous pain for Caitlin Hernandez's family. One of her aunts saying she doesn't even want to think about what her niece had to go through underneath this very bridge. But the dozens of mourners who came out today didn't come to remember that moment, but the 17 years of life that preceded it. They came with flowers and messages of love to show their support. They had balloons and many dressed in her favorite color, red. There were also a lot of tears. Tears for the loss of a 17-year-old girl who loved dogs and her sisters, for the diploma she was supposed to hold in just over two months' time, and the future she'll never get to grow up and see. Speaking with media beforehand, her family once again asked for help finding the person or people who did this to Caitlin. And to the person who did this to her, come forward. Don't let them come for you. They're gonna, they're gonna come get you. You turn yourself in, turn yourself in, don't be a coward. Family members said they still can't talk about the case. Crime Stoppers has offered a reward for information leading to an arrest. We have information on how to claim it on our website. Just find the story on KSAT.com. Of the dozens of people who showed up here today, many didn't even know Caitlin, as evidenced by a show of hands during the vigil. But still, they came to offer their respects and show their support for a family going through the unimaginable. On the Northeast side, I'm Garrett Berger, KSAT 12 News.